Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Aging Room Solera. This is the Corojo version, hence the red wrapper. And this is a Toro, which they call a Fantastico. This is a 5 half by 54 rated in mild to medium strength, so that's odd for a uh, aging room. Boutique blends in general, kind of strong cigars. I got this at my local smoke shop, Havana Manor, for $9.49. Thanks for them getting this in stock. They didn't have it, and I asked for it, and a couple days later, there it was. Uh, the wrapper is Corojo, and it's made in Dominican Republic. It came with a little uh, pigtail, so I did a straight cut on that, but I'm not sure if that's going to work so well because very snug draw right now so feels pretty thick it looks in a couple ways like a Camacho Corojo the red has a Corojo band kind of looks not the band but the uh, the wrapper itself kind of looks like I'm, I'm tempted just to pull this off and get it over with because it comes with a secondary band but I want to get it warmed up first make sure there's no problems there so let's start the magic stopwatch and get her lit up. So some of you may remember, I have smoked this before, not this Corojo, but a Solera, but it was a uh, Sun Grown and I liked it a lot. It gave it a 96. Uh, this is a Corojo, which I'm hoping and assuming I'm gonna like even better. As soon as I get this lit up, I'll tell you more about it. Smells really good. Just concerned about that draw. Hmm. Hard to say. May have been concerned over nothing. It's still a little snug, but it's pulling better than I thought it would. So, as some of you also may remember, I went down to the Dominican Republic, hung out with Rafael Nodal and Hochi Blanco, who makes this at Tobacco Lara Palma. Uh, let's see, famous smoke shop says this, Adrum Solera Corojo cigars are a prime example of Rafael Nodal's incredible acumen for creating some of the world's most unique premium cigar blends. Using a combination of the best vintages, the Solera method of aging has been used for centuries in the making of wine, sherry, rum, and brandy. Now for the quote, now for the first time, we are using the Solera system by combining different vintages of tobacco at different stages of the aging process to obtain a fuller flavor and more complex cigar, said Raphael. Donned in a red band, the Age Room Solera Corojo Cigar comprises an all vintage mix of Dominican Habano fillers and binders, definitely rolled in a shimmering Dominican Corojo wrapper. So, this is a Dominican Puro. The smoke is nothing short of amazing, brimming with dark, earthy, complex flavors that can only be appreciated by lighting one up. Do yourself a favor and add some to your next order. The Solera is available in four wrappers Sun Grown, Maduro, Corojo, and Shade. Each available in three sizes, <clears throat> this one being a Toro. Like I said, uh, I gave the Sun Grown a 96. To you, that may look like I'm getting a fair amount of smoke, but you also notice I had to take about three puffs off of it to get that. So the, the draw is a little on the snug side. I still could probably hit this with my uh, V cutter which I'm really tempted to do. It's either that or I may have to break out my Havana Saver, which I haven't used in ages, to uh, poke down through there. That's the thing, people have asked me about the V-Cut, why I use it so often. It's mainly because uh, it works really well. I, Like I said, I can't remember the last time I even had to use that Havana Saver. Um, that's, the, that's the really sharp, super sharp pointer that you can poke in there to open up the draw. You can you poke it into the bottom of the cigar and use it to hold the cigar for the last little part so you don't burn your fingers. Pretty good. <clears throat> A little too much work to get that amount of smoke. You can maybe see the cut there. I mean, it's it was definitely cut down enough. 
so it's, it's a kind of a tight pack there at the end shouldn't really have to take too much off I mean I probably could have just pulled off that pigtail and that should have been enough but um, kind of a snug draw this is not my number one choice of size but I asked for the Solera I didn't ask for a particular size and this is what they brought so but Toro's, Toro's acceptable I'd rather have Robusto but Toro's next best. Gordo, ugh. now you're you're talking big. Well, I'm gonna give this a little bit more and then I'm gonna maybe cut it again or try something different because three or four puffs to get the smoke, too much work. Not that I'm lazy or <laughs> I need to have it perfect, but it would I need to have a draw better than that. So anyway keep on going I definitely like the smell smell Ooh, that is a terrific smell coming off of there nice even burn pretty tight burn line too so let's keep going about 35 minutes into this age room Solera Corojo pretty uneven burn kind of flaky ash and I've come to the conclusion that it's over humidified. Now I just bought this yesterday. I can't say what the conditions were. It came straight from my smoke shop. Usually smoking straight from a smoke shop, not a problem, but it has all the classic signs of being over humidified. So this is probably one that I'll probably do a follow up on in a month or two after it sat in my humidor. And you know, it's hard to gauge a single cigar. What's the humidity? It's thrown in with my others. It'll equalize it'll come down to the mid 60s which is where it should be to me it just just by rolling it and squeezing it especially here at the at the base by the cap feels really soft and spongy and in more ways than one it's remind me of the Camacho Corojo because of that ash it's kind of a flaky loose ash those kind of burn unevenly too but the ones I have are perfectly humidified so they perform better as far as the draw I got to pull, well, let's count how many times I have to pull to get a decent amount of smoke. Three or four. It's a really nice smelling cigar, though. I think there's some potential here, but yeah, it's just over humidified. So on camera, Miles will go ahead and take care of that issue. See how well, how quick it ignites, too, just by getting the heat somewhat near it. Am I almost out of gas here? No. There we go. So bare, not even touching it, not even really close to it at all. As you can see it light up like that. So that's not too wet. That's, that's good, glowing it. Just applying the heat to it. Just not letting the flame touch it. I'm afraid of it falling. a little bit better but you know you know me I don't really want to have to do anything to cigars other than smoke them <laughs> but um, if you go to Stogie Palace Facebook page you can see a cool little video I posted on there because I got a really cool smoke effect just naturally no special effects just from my blinds back here with the light coming in a certain way I was bored but yeah you see the ash there kind of Kind of flaky, kind of expanding out a little bit, flowering out. So, could perform better. I think it just needs to dry out a little bit. So, let's keep going. Well, I'm about an hour and 20 minutes into this AG Room Solera Corojo made by Boutique Blends. And um, you saw the touch up I did. After that, it performed a lot better, but it's still went out right before I hit record so I had to apply some heat to it just now um, but there was a big improvement as far as the quality of it about about halfway in or so after that touch up it, it burned really well drew better but now that it's getting closer towards the end I think all that humidity in there that I it's my impression that it's over humidified we'll find out when I do a, a follow-up on this on this cigar I have two more thankfully and um, I didn't get out my Havana saver to poke holes into it so just did basically three cuts. The first straight cut, then a slight V cut, and then another straight cut to just take a little bit further down. Uh, 
they say that mild to medium. I'm gonna say that body-wise, I would say medium. Maybe almost medium to full. Strength-wise, I would say medium, to also medium to full. Only because for, for a little time there, I felt some heaviness in the chest, which sometimes I get with strength. But I don't feel, my head's not kind of spinning. I don't have the shakes or anything like that. So I wouldn't go any f further strength-wise than medium plus maybe. Uh, Appearance-wise, well, like you saw, uh, there were two bands. There's this big one on there. And then there was the smaller one and they both came off great no problems there so i appreciate that the wrapper looks terrific though i don't you know i never tell how good you can see that but really nice looking wrapper on there deep rich dark row looking wrapper uh the burn it could have been better uneven like you saw but it was it's been even since then aroma is terrific but you know corojo that's kind of typical nice sweet smell to it um, flavor like I said mild to medium in body when to me that means that the flavor is also like that it's, just a, it's th there are similarities to the Camacho Corojo um, except that's stronger for sure and uh, maybe a little bit more in the body department talked about strength already performance um, that's where all most of the markdowns are um, and hopefully after it sits in my humidor for a month or two, whenever I get around to it again, it'll dry out a little bit more. Um, overall, I gave this a 94. I think it can do better with age, with time. I don't think it really needs to be aged so much, but it's just that, just to dry it out a little bit. Um, what else? Oh, well, I, of course I'd be remiss to mention the Aging Room Boutique Blends isn't its uh, independent company anymore. As some of you may have heard, it's been taken over by Altatus, and um, congratulations to Rafael Nodal for that. He seems pretty excited about it. Uh, he's still going to be connected with this brand, the Boutique brand, Blends brand, and all the other brands from Altatus, which are quite a bit. It's one of, if not the largest cigar manufacturer of a lot of brands you've heard. So there you go, nice thick smoke there. And of course, I wanted to highlight something. This is something the wife said I should do more often. You know, I'm, I'm highlighting these brands, but I like to have something to drink with it. And here's a local brand. Uh, there it is. Mexican Lager. This is made by Ska Brewing. It's a local company in Colorado. I uh, found it quite by accident. I was at a liquor store, and I believe it was one of their reps that was there. And I told them, you know what I'm looking for? I, I like the taste of Mexican beer, especially with some lime in it. Ooh, it's so good. But I was looking for a light beer, something with less carbs. And all the stuff I've read was that, like Takati Light, some of the others, or just, uh, Corona, forget it, I can't stand Corona, that are just horrible. This stuff is really good. Got it in a pint glass with that lime in there. Mm. Nice tasting. A little bit, a little bitterness there from the lime and um, Mexican beer. I don't know why it is I like it so much. Just that different flavor about it. The guy that I talked to, he said that uh, quite often it's because they use corn in their beer, the Mexican beers. I didn't see it listed on the ingredients for this particular beer, but it tastes like a light Mexican beer. By light, I don't mean light in calories or anything like that, because it's, it's not, but it's um, a lighter lager kind of thing. Hence the name. And it's spelled L-O-G-G-E-R, lager as you may have seen on the can. I know this one went a little long. Thanks for the comment recently about not minding the length of my videos. Uh, I know some people don't like them any longer in about five to eight minutes, but I like to go a little bit deeper into the cigar, the brand, the history of it. My personal history with this brand, Rafa Nodal, great guy. So anyway, uh, once again, this has been the Boutique Lens Ager Room Solera Corojo Fantastico. I like it. I think it needs, like I said, just needs a little more time to kind of dry out a little. Now, if it's like this in a couple months, then I guess the, the opinion and the score stays. But um, I, I know it can be better because, like I said, 
the sun the uh, sun grown that I had of the Solera was a lot better performer than this and I can't vouch for how much humidity this thing saw before I got it so and I didn't let it rest I usually do but anyway I like it I would buy more and I'm glad I did buy more but then again I'm a sucker for crow just love it so this is Chris at Stogie Palace thanks for watching check out all the other videos comment let me know what you think I do appreciate input whether it's positive or negative it's funny how some people complained about the, the former background all the junk and everything in my garage and now some people are saying it's just too plain it's a work in progress anyway thanks for watching I will see you later